Hello, gentlemen. My name is Daniel Clothier, and I have the privilege today of sharing my senior testimony with you. Uh, I was asked to share a verse that has been of use to me during my time here in seminary, and my initial thought was the verse I wanted to share is Ecclesiastes 12.12, 12, which I think is a, a verse that all seminarians can truly appreciate. Solomon says to his son, My son, be warned. The making of many books is endless, and much devotion to books is wearying to the flesh. I'm pretty sure that his son was in seminary and he wrote that to him, but anyways. But in all seriousness, it's the two verses that follow. Verses 13 and 14, they read, The end of the matter, all that has been heard, fear God and keep his commandments. Because this is the end of the matter for all mankind, who will bring every work to judgment, everything which is hidden, whether it is good or evil. Well, in the end, the quality of our life and our ministry is going to be examined by fire. And we need to live and serve in light of that reality. And I'm so thankful that God has brought me here to the Master's Seminary to learn, to have learned to do just that. A number of years ago, having sensed a call to ministry, I got a hold of a couple sermons from Shepherd's Conferences, and I listened to them, and I wanted more. So I went online, and I searched for as many as I could find, and I found about 20 years' worth of Shepherd's Conferences. I downloaded every session, and I listened to them all. And yeah, in the earlier years, they even had uh, sessions for the pastor's wives, and yes, I listened to those too. But at the end of it all, having listened to every session, I said, if I'm going to be a pastor, I want to be a pastor according to that model. Uh, if there is one word that has stuck with me during my time here that serves as a constant reminder and a lesson for me that uh, is gripping me as I come to the end of this program, it is the word excellence. If my works are going to be evaluated in the end, I want to live and serve with excellence. And that is what the men of this school, who lead this school, who lead this church, they've exemplified for us. They've shown it in the class. They've shown it in their preaching. They've lived it out before us with their lives. And I look at them. I see these men with all this wisdom and knowledge and experience, and I see in them a relentless pursuit for excellence. Now, if that's true of the men who teach us. They see the need to constantly be growing. How much more so should it be true of you and I? Well, I'm just encouraged to be better uh, just by watching them. There's so much to be thankful for uh, during my time here at the seminary. I'm thankful for the donors. I'm thankful for their support of both the school and the students make all this possible. I'm thankful for the faculty, their uh, constant availability to us and ready to invest in us. But above all, I'm thankful for my wife, Kristen. Uh, it's been a very challenging time. But the way that you have shown, uh, just stepped up to the plate, Kristen, to make all this possible, to make it work, has been such a tremendous blessing to me. It stirred me up to pursue excellence that much more. Your love, your patience, your wisdom, it inspires me. Your devotion to our family, your love for our girls, Karis and Quinn, I am just so blessed to watch. It's a glorious thing to see. I made it without crying, so that's good. <laughs> but looking forward, uh, I'm also thankful for God's providence concerning my future ministry plans. I'm excited to have joined Dr. Joe Zakovich uh, to serve under him in the launch of the John MacArthur Publishing Group. Uh, Dr. Z, thank you so much for your example, your encouragement, and your friendship. And along with that, I am so humbled by the tremendous honor of serving alongside both him and Dr. Abner Chow in Sojourner's Fellowship Group. Thank you so much for entrusting me with ministry. Thank you for your constant guidance and being a source of wisdom to me. I am truly grateful for this school, and I am humbled that God has determined to bring me here.